One thing you can say for sure about the work of Pro Hart is that there's plenty of it. He's churned out literally hundreds of his folksy scenes and landscapes, and now he uses a camera as a sort of sketchbook to speed up the whole process. With Pro, time is the essence, and there's no waiting for the shots to get back from the chemist. These days, the Polaroid is his palette. It won't take long to transform the instant photograph into an almost instant painting and Pro casually knocks off what he describes as another major work as he chats to one of his mates. There was a bit of, wasn't much activity there yesterday, but uh, I'll just paint some of the activity there that wasn't in there. Nothing left down there. Oh, it'd be a whole new show. They'd have to redo the whole outfit. This particular one here uh, is the wooden uh, uh, pop dead. And uh, it's quite similar to what I'm used to, because I used to work around the shaft and I was on the cages for a while, and uh, on a wooden uh, head frame, and uh, so that would be very similar to where I first kicked off the particular painting. Even as a child, Pro was drawing incessantly, but it didn't do him much good as a kid in Broken Hill. Almost everyone worked in the mines, and Kevin Charles Hart was no exception. But he hated it, and he began to sketch life underground almost as a means of escape. I'd I done a bit of mining, but uh, it wasn't my scene at all. You know, I got out of it, you know. The miners used to say, draw us some more comics, Kev. But in fact, his first real job was cleaning up on the 16th level underground. Later, he had a job on the bells, signalling when the steel cages were being sent up and down. It all brings back bad memories. I was always conscious of, uh, of uh, the, the rocks up above falling, and uh, I'd nearly got killed a couple of times. I've been very close to getting bumped off, you know. And I'd run locos off the line and uh, bring them, you know. And uh, uh, you know, it's I sort of got a good imagination, and I can imagine what would happen if uh, if the loco jumped off the line or if a couple of rocks fell out of the backs. And we used to have to stoke up our blooming carbide lights first. And if the wind blew your light out and you didn't have matches, you'd be in the dark. And that's happened a few times. Crow's paintings of underground work are filled with bitterness. And he's far more at home, back on top, where his humanity is often tinged with the humour of everyday life. We're using acrylic. Okay. Right, at the beginning of the film, we've got a card coming up saying, artists, blah, 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 live next door, Parkland flat, that'll explain everything, so you can just be there starting yeah, to paint yeah, now, right? Yeah, yeah. The family has gathered to record for posterity uh, what Pro sees as the answer to too much sex and violence on television. The spider comes down, you see? Then he gets whacked with the brush. Hold, don't have the spider yet. Let's just get him some shots of him putting some... Paint down first. I think the movie we were making here for fun, I reckon, would be a bit different to most uh, movies. I got sick of watching all the garbage on TV, and I thought it'd be interesting to see how you could uh, do something with, uh, uh, that would interest 90% uh, of the people. Okay, spider down. Oh dear, what's that? Spider up, quick! Oh. Continue to paint. I've got flat batteries too, so don't... Humour, however, is a serious business, and there's some tension on the set, particularly since the batteries have been running down. Let's just get a shot of you. Bloody no, right, you got your musket. Yeah, okay. Right, stand there like a stump up with the musket and just yeah, pour gum powder down. Have you got the musket? Yeah, but I think we got. No. Huh? No, no. Well, that's what I say. You should have stayed. Right, well, get off frame and we'll. Whether the movie is an artistic triumph or not will depend on the critics. But at least they can't oh. complain that Pro Heart doesn't deliver a strong punchline. Oh. 